Now, a lot of people, when it comes to manifesting and creating what they want in their lives, they are tripping themselves up where they're so focused on getting the thing. They're thinking, oh, how can I sell more products? How can I get more people on my team? Let me refresh my page looking at my followers or a subscriber count. Or like, what else can I do to make more money? And but by focusing on that and only that, it can cause the manifestation process to take so much longer because they're thinking about the thing, thinking about the thing. And then they look and they go, oh, I don't see it yet. And they're staying their state, what they were getting their like high from of thinking about this, the thing, thinking about the thing. Then when they look in their real life and they don't see it there, right, their state drops. They become doubtful. They become impatient and they lose the very thing that was drawing their manifestation to them in the first place, which was their state of mind and their energetic state that has already received that thing. What's up, what's going on? My name is Sabrina and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Here in the Better You space, we teach creatives, dreamers, and entrepreneurs how to train their minds to make their daydreams their real daily lives. And you are in for a treat because I'm coming out with a five-day boot camp teaching you how to unlock the power of your mind and manifest one of your desires into your reality. So if you're interested in joining us, you can sign up with the link in the description and let's get into it. Now, I wonder how much longer you can hold your state of mind, your energy, if you're no longer focused on that outside thing and instead you're focused on keeping the state itself. And now when we think about why we want something to begin with, right, we want the money to help us feel more secure, more more safe, to have more freedom, to do more things, right? We, but we want it for that. We want to do more things for that feeling as well, that feeling of excitement, right? Or we want the audience members, we want the big audience so that we can feel the recognition or we can feel seen and we can feel heard and we can feel valued, so we want these external things because of the way that it will make us feel to begin with. So if we can create that internal state inside of us first, you will end up feeling so detached from getting the thing. And this is a good thing because when we have this level of detachment, almost like a, like a, yeah, it could happen. But also if it doesn't, like that's still okay. When we have this level of detachment, we are powerful creators because when we come from that level of desperation, that attachment is that desperation. When we come from that level, that's when we create polarity and we kind of separate ourselves from the thing. So when we can cultivate the state within us first, and when you do this, I want you to feel so damn good that you literally get body chills that you literally start laughing because you're like oh my god I just feel so good where you let this new state take over your whole emotional body now you can get here through one of the many different practices to train your mind like visualizations like self-talk rampages however you get there doesn't matter but I want you to be able to get to that state and then focus on that state and hold that state and you will feel such a level of gratitude and just self-acceptance for where you're at in life. But you will also be that exact energetic match, that exact state of mind to put your awareness on and attract that thing. And it's when you're at this level that you actively turn into the conscious creator and reality will have no choice but to collapse into place for you. But here's where a lot of people will keep tripping up is they, again, direct their focus back onto the thing. They care so much about having the money, having the, the love, having the followers, whatever your main manifestation is and what you're wanting to attract right now, where we might look at a circumstance that is not how we ideally want it to be at. And we go, we go, oh, oh my God, like, I don't want this. And their body tells them that they should react. And these different hormones flood through their bloodstreams and their emotional state dips. They shift their neural pathways because now they're thinking in a different state of mind. They're in a different energetic state now. And now, what do you think they are a vibrational match to? That, oh, oh my God, I don't want this to happen type feeling, type energy. That is what their state of mind and energy is now equal to. And you don't want that for you. And I don't want that for you. And so that's why... We are chasing the state because when you chase the state, you have nothing to lose. You can't say like, oh, I'm bad at manifesting. Oh, I'm just not good enough. Oh, whatever, because you're not after a tangible thing. You're after a feeling and you can create a feeling. I want you as you're watching this, unless you're driving, don't do this if you're driving, but as you're watching this, close your eyes. And I just want you to think about the last funny thing that happened in your life. It could be something stupid that someone said. It can be from a show or a movie. It could be you laughing at yourself, tripping over your own two feet. 
I don't care what it is, just think about it. And I want you to notice just how much lighter your body already feels just thinking about it. A smile naturally comes across your face. You naturally feel a little like giddy, a little like lighthearted. And this is just from half a second of thinking about something funny that happened. When you dedicate yourself to sitting down and saying, I'm not getting up until I feel this state, And it can take five minutes or it can take 15 minutes or it can take however long. But the results you get in your life are like 80, 90 percent your energetic state and a very small percent of the actual actions that you're taking. And I want you to make this process fun. Let yourself enjoy it because this life is meant to be enjoyed. This life is meant to be exciting and magical and beautiful where you can feel in awe just from doing the simplest things. Feeling so much love and gratitude in your heart where you're at your prime health. You're making more money than you even know what to do with. Your relationships are the healthiest they've been in your life and better than what you could have asked for. And I want you to go all in to live in this state because if it's possible for you and it's possible for you, why the hell would you settle for anything less? If you have the potential to feel this good, to live this good, and it's all in your playing field, life is a game and you're just here to play along with it. And you need to know that you are the one who is moving the pieces. You are the one who is calling the shots. You are the one who is directing the movie. So make it good. Make it count. Say, fuck it. Why not manifest everything I've wanted and more? Why not create the life of my dreams and more? Fuck it, because you're only living one life in this body of yours. So let's make it good. Let's just fall in love with life itself, because why not? Why walk around miserable and complaining about this, that, and the other when we can be living a totally different quality of life simply by shifting our own internal state? And I want you to bring this state with you throughout your day, all day, every day. Notice when it dips, notice the patterns of when it might dip and have some habits in place to continually realign yourself. I want you to get really, really clear on what it would feel like to have your desires. What is that unique emotional and energetic signature that you feel within you when you tap into the vision of already having it? And a great question to kind of hack your body into feeling this way is asking yourself, I wonder how it would feel like If I already was making $200,000 a year, $500,000 a year, already had my little boutique business, how exactly does that make you feel? Notice how relaxed or excited your body is or how relaxed or open your heart is, how alert or clear or relaxed your mind is, how open your chest is, how light you feel. Take note of everything and remember this state. Something I like saying when I bring any of my clients or students out of a training where we really focused on tapping into a new state is I'll tell them, imagine your cells, each one of your cells in your body harnessing onto the state. And I feel like it's a good way to like lock it in, secure it in. And if you got to this point of the video, leave a sparkle emoji in the comment section below so I know who made it to this point. And if this video was helpful for you, please support the channel by giving a thumbs up, share this video with a friend, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified every time I post a new one, and I will see you in the next one.